<laughs> uh, I've heard of low attendance numbers at events, but this tops them all. Hardly anybody went to the YCS in Sacramento. <laughs> Play that beautiful bean intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most a real R32 and destroy the ever living boo boo staying off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 14, almost 1500 ladder. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, fantastic weekend. Um, if you're like me and uh, you're not following the YCS Sacramento uh, coverage, uh, then you wouldn't really know what's going on. And I decided last night. Let's just see what's going on. I saw one feature match, the finishing up of game one, with Pac, who was on Runic White Force, because I guess he got tired of not being able to gimmick puppet lock people. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. I'm just giving Pac a hard time. And he was beating a hero player. He beat him game one. I didn't watch the whole match because I don't care. <laughs> um, I was more curious last night to find out, hey, <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face, how many... <laughs> How many people showed up to this YCS? It's almost the end of the format. Like, surely there couldn't have been a lot of people going to this event. Like, there is no way that, what now, like a couple weeks or so removed from Nationals, which had over 2,000 players, over 2,200. There's no way that a bunch of players went to this YCS when the format is basically over and it's a dog water format. I would argue my 16 years of playing competitively, the worst format of all time and definitely the worst i've ever played in you know how many players showed up to this ycs according to one of the uh coverage writers uh i think his name was actually tyler Berger, who's a tcg player writer you know how many people showed up you want to take a guess a thousand twelve hundred maybe eight hundred nine hundred and Fifteen players showed up for this dog water event to possibly win a Nintendo Switch and a brand new another verse vanilla monster that is both a fire and a pyro with like twenty five hundred attack and two thousand defense. Ah! Oh, this this shit's hilarious. This is so hilarious it goes to show you how much people don't give a damn about this format now you might be saying avery 915 people like that's a decent show out for a ycs for comparison this is like how low the number is in comparison to something from a long time ago compared to like you would think the numbers would be much higher ycs orlando in 2010 the ycs my first ever ycs that i went to i remember i was playing six samurai and my opponent got arrested for most likely stealing cards i've told that story on the channel before shameless plug you know how many players that had 400 you know how many players we can consistently get at Kissimmee, orlando florida regionals around 400 if not more so you would expect the number to grow 915 compared to a ycs from 13 years ago that's not good uh what, what do you call it that's not a good conversion rate um and if you want even more context again nationals in texas had over 2,000 players regionals not ycs's regionals in california on average get a thousand plus players you mean to tell me that this is basically a small regional of a ycs compared to something in california they could hold a regional in two weeks and it could get over a thousand players they got 915 what's the math on that Let, let's let's check it sugar boo bears let's say that entry is i think it's like 2250 so like let's call it 23 let's just call it 25 to be on the safe side right 915 times $25, you're looking at $22,875 off of, that. that's the possible profit that Konami has made just off of entry fees. That's not, you know, including probably money that the vendors had to pay to be there. That's not including how much money they had to blow to get the Credit Union Convention Center or whatever for the weekend. Like, <laughs> That's hilarious to me. And the reason why it's so funny, right, is because of the fact that the attendance is so low compared to nationals, number one. Number two, for a place like California that can get over a 1,000 people for a regional easily is insane. And so these low numbers go to show, hey, people don't care to go to this shit right now because the prize support is 
I, I think the prize support's kind of whatever, but there's plenty of people out there who are like, the prize support's garbage. I do think that the prize card should be something better than a fucking vanilla that looks like the, t the flavor text was written by chat GPT. Um, and like, we actually want a prize card that has some kind of effect or is just unique. Doesn't have to be something broken like Minerva or uh, whatever other prize cards have been used in the past. Like, whatever. You get my point, right? Uh, you know, it's still garbage prize support. Uh, the only people that really went to this was Pac, because he's addicted to the game, I guess, and he really wants to win another YCS so he can build a throne of switches. Um, two players from Kentucky went, and I know that because of the written feature match coverage. One was playing Memento. The other was playing, I don't know, something random. They're both going on to day two, so, like, who cares? Um <laughs> And yeah, like the other players probably went one because a lot of them are probably from California. So that makes up probably at least over half of the people of the 915, over half of them have to be from California. The only other people I could see going to this is because they think a lot of people think that this format is dog water. Maybe I can go to this YCS and get an easy day two, an easy top 64, an easy, you know, YCS win, whatever the case may be. Because there's no other reason that I can think of why people would be going to this event. Because it can't be a reason of, hey, I like this format. It's a lot of fun. There's no way that the majority of the player base is having fun in this format and they're saying, Yes, I'm going to go to this YCS and get my cheeks absolutely blown out of the water against Snake Eye, Fiend Smith, or Ubel, Tempai, whatever the hell, and I'm going to enjoy myself. No, absolutely not. And, like, look, there's nothing wrong with enjoying this format. You do you, Honey Boo Bear, but the majority of players, and honestly, the people who realize that this format's dog water and actually want to speak with their wallets, are not going to go to these events because they want to say, hey, let's wait until a ban list. This format's over. We've already had nationals. We already know the three best decks in the room are Fiendsmith, Snake Eye, Fiendsmith, Ubel, Tempai, and like... If you're playing something else, good luck. You're probably getting your butt blown out of the convention center and thrown back on your plane that you probably may or may not have first class in. <laughs> like, I can't think of any other reason why players would go to this event. Like, I like to think it's not because that players are just smooth brain and don't want to touch grass and, like, want to go to it blindly, ignoring the prize support issues, ignoring the issues with the format. It's got to be that, like, the majority of these players, minus the two that were in the written feature match coverage and PAC, because I'm sure PAC doesn't live in California, besides those three players, everybody else, or at least a good majority, have to be from California. I can't think of any other reason why players would go to this event. And the fact that there's only 915 <laughs> players is hilarious considering again when californians can pull a thousand plus people for a regional it's like if this isn't a wake-up call to konami which is probably not uh, in all seriousness it has to let them know like listen people aren't happy with this baby back bullshit and uh, uh, 915 people. I, I can't get over that. I know I keep saying that over and over, but it just blew my mind when I read that last night. I was laughing so hard for like 45 minutes. Like people actually went to this event and wasted their time and money to go. And still it's only 915 people like that. I, I think that that's just hilarious. And the other thing is too, I was thinking about this last night too, is that the 915 number is kind of a good thing in a way. Because one, obviously it shows Konami. They're not, we're not happy with this format. And the second thing is that players need to be talking more with their wallets, right? Like, people like Jesse Cotton, Joshua Schmidt, Jess, MBT, whoever, right? Y'all can do all this clickbait shit in the world that you want, but unless you're putting your wallet and your money where your mouth is, if you keep showing up to events like a good little boy or girl, then you're not really contributing to making change in the game. You know, it's... It's something that I don't know why people haven't brought up sooner than later, um, but everyone that has an issue with the game, like there are some people like Jess who are like, I'm not going to YCS Dortmund and whatever, blah, 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 blah. But if people, let's just say for an example, Joshua Schmidt, even though Josh seems to be okay with like prize support and stuff from like what I've seen of him, I, let's just use him as an example. If Joshua Schmidt makes a video and says, hey, here's issues with the game, here's issue with the format, here's issues with the prize support, but then his ass is still going to locals, regionals, YCSs, uh, the world championship for master shits because apparently he thinks it's a good game when it's not. I'm just being honest. Um, then he's not contributing to helping make the game better. If anything, he's just kind of talking out of his ass, right? And so I think what we need to be calling people out for, 
whether it's me, whether it's MCO40, whether it's whoever, Team Samurai, you name it, we need to be calling the player base out more for saying, hey, listen, you're going to be talking about issues with the game. Put your money where your mouth is and stop going to amends. Like, obviously, there are going to be players who are going to be like, well, I at least want to go to locals to go hang out with my friends. Cool. That's one thing. Like, you should support your OTS store. But when it comes to supporting Konami as a whole, why are you saying that there's issues with the game, but then you're still buying the case? Why are you saying that there's issues with the game and you're still going to YCS? And I'll admit, I'm guilty of that because I bought a case of Infinite Forbidden from my locals. I wanted to support my OTS store. At the same time, I wanted Fiendsmith cards because I wanted to be competitive because I do believe that the format's going to change once we get a ban list. But if we're in issues like this where a lot of people are tired of the format and you're going to complain about issues of the game and still go to events, we're going to end up with stuff like this where we still end up with 915 players at a YCS. Thank God it's not in the 1,000 plus range. That should really go to show no one cares about this event. So, guys, this is hilarious. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.